Hello there everyone. This is I'm Mark 3 and welcome back to Frostpunk on our little run in the canyons map and we just lost a coal fire. Okay, that's fun fine. Okay. But yes, welcome back to Frostpunk for part four. And yes, this is the Canyons map. This is a second recording session now that we're on. So I know for a fact this is the Canyons map, even though I got a bit confused about that in part two. <laughs> Um, but yes, the best laid plans of mice and men, I know that's a quote from somewhere, but uh, it does apply here, considering the fact we have about a day's worth of coal, and we've got two days left for that, so yes. I mentioned this last time, we need to actually do something about our coal situation now, and try and get things sorted out. So, Let's check on the scouts really quickly. They are still wandering about, and then will we call them? Yes, yes, yes. We have just lost all available wood sources, because of course we have, but we've got 300 on in reserve. And that, I think, is going to influence where I want to place my actual supply system. Because we've got the guys running out out here. 5.3. This thing tops out at, like, about 11 coal per hour. If it was fully staffed, but it's not because it's so far out. Let's double check this really quickly. We burn per day 700. 11 per hour, that's 100, 200. That's maybe half our coal gain if this thing was working properly, which is not. So, yes, we definitely need to develop our coal supply. The thing is, though. If I build out this way, literally the only thing supporting it'll be supporting will be this gathering post, because this one is running a bit low. Also, apparently I didn't extend the, the work hours on that one. Whoops. I did on that one. Okay, worth checking. <laughs> but um, if this area is much more important to us because it's got all the trees in it. It's got the extra steel scrap as well, which is not valuable as such at the moment, but it will be in a bit, but it's the wood that we're after, especially since we just lost these. So, this is the area I'm going to develop. First things first though, do these guys actually require? They do not, I don't think. Are we at level 1 or 2? We're level 2. We're not running too hot, are we? No. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to make sure I'm doing things properly, okay? Right, so, Steam Hub. Again, let's double check this. I think the steam up is burning way more than is beneficial to us at the moment. Uh, one steam up is running at 944 per day. While this thing would be burning like 14 per day. So yeah, let's fire the workshop burners. Shut down that steam up completely. And the only thing that I'll lose is the child shelter. So that'll become too cold to be operational. Or it should do. That, that's fine. That's fine. It'll spare us some coal, which is what I want. These guys need to be torn down, which will free up some work staff as well. So off they go. Okay. I'm seriously considering shutting down this gathering post, but the fact is we don't have anything to supplement it at the moment. So that's why I'm going to risk having people still keep going out here. Let's, we can we can try and do something about that though. Let's see. Uh, in treatment and treatments. Can I shift select? I can. Right. Gather everyone that's sick. Dismiss them all. And then we will pull from our newly available pool of engineers. Actually. There we go. And they're going to dismantle. So I will actually. Pause and resume. Actually, let's just cancel those out so that we lose those orders and we're trying to get everyone going up here. Going to the fighting arena. Stop slacking off, you guys! <laughs> Stop slacking off. I'm trying to bully you into getting me more cold, darn it. Okay, that's fine then. The people are a bit disgruntled, so I, I can understand why they are doing that. Anyway, moving on. We must design our new supply line. 
and the heating along here will help with the whole getting out to this area to work on it situation. So, resources. Let's start laying it in. First piece of tech is this guy. Not very big at the moment, but that's okay. What we want though is the coal thumper. And let's spin our view around a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Coal thumper. At base level, this thing supplies enough for two gathering posts per day. If when we get it upgraded though to the steam coal thumper, it goes up to four. But then there's also like passive things like extra gathering rate and um, <clears throat> stuff like that that goes on as well. So in the end, this thing will be slightly outstripped by four gathering posts because gathering posts get two efficiency upgrades on their harvesting while the, th the thumpers only get the one and that's at tech level five as well. Also, happy Afer. Uh, very quick shout out to you because we've been talking in the comments. There's the hothouse right there. And yeah, there's the steam core which I mentioned, which makes this a mid to late level building, really. Supplies a steady amount of food, honestly, 30 per day. But it's just... The problem is that steam core, we just have so few of them. That's the main issue. I'm trying to find, find, find the hunters. Yeah, that, though, that said though, they are twice the effect. I mean, the base hunter sort is only at 15 raw food per day. Which is actually far, far worse proposition. So, yeah. But upgraded, they are running at 20. So, still not as good, but we've knocked down the number of people required at least. But Hothouse, if you weren't to spend the Steam Core, extremely viable at any time. Plus, there's the fact they keep working during a storm as well, if you can keep them warm enough. Which is definitely a tempting thing, I will admit. Definitely a tempting thing. Anyway, yes, what was it doing? Right, let's get this thing working. I want to place down gathering posts. I'll put one... There's a gap here, so I'm thinking of putting some in here. Yeah, let's do that. Two gathering posts there. A coal thumper will fit quite nicely there. And we're tuning it so that we'll have gathering posts on this side here as well. But right now, we don't need them. Unfortunately, we need the metal, which we have lost. So we're going to have to wait on these guys being dismantled. And of course, there's the fact we're going to need extra sawmills as well further out. So, you know, we're going to have to pay attention to that one. Also, I forget, did I check this guy? Oh, I had this guy running 24 hours as well. Big mistake there. I thought I hadn't checked it, but... Uh, I didn't think to uh, make sure. Also, book of laws. Yes, here we go. This is what I was talking about. Overcrowding. We could go with extra rations for the ill, which is we can spend extra rations to speed up recovery times. But the one I'm after here is overcrowding, which is um, medical facilities can work at double the capacity for people. The problem is, if the extra capacity is being used, it will cause some extra discontent. But it will let me stretch my medical facilities, which is quite useful. And suddenly everyone's in medical, though people are a bit unhappy, but that's okay. I'm still okay. Crammed in a, a poor house. If you have somewhere to lie, they have a chance to recover. So, yep, yeah, one slightly pessimistic, one somewhat optimistic, and I am siding with Agnes, the optimistic one. And, oops, only another big jump. Overtime, controversial law, requests ignored. Yeah, because I'm forcing you guys to work overtime. And people are getting sick because they're coming out here to work on this. That can't be helped. But I can install a steam pump out here. Which will... I'll put there just to catch that. So at the very least, these will be heated too. But more importantly, the, st the thumper will be heated because the thumper is terrible. At retaining heat. It just can't do it. <coughs> no matter what, with all the upgrades and everything like that, the thumper is the weak link in a, a thumper driven coal setup. It just it freezes far too easily. That's the problem with it. And yeah, look, people are getting really sick. Okay. 
So I've got you set to be built. Um, unfortunately, we don't have access to the field kitchens, which is one of the religious things. Which would be quite handy right now. But um, basically that can be used like it's a radius effect, like a steam hub. It uses food per day. And in return, its zone provides an extra plus one to heat. So that's what that can do. Which is very handy. Let's get the thumper firing on... Very cold. Cold. Normal. I think once the steam hub is up, the coal thumper will be actually functional. Without any further... Without the steam hub actually being required. Actually, no. The steam hub will get it working. The... The heater will not, actually. Until we get the improved heat upgrade. Oop. Storm on the horizon. Yes, I know. And look at this. Lots and lots of people are getting sick. Rapidly. No children there. Good. I was afraid for a moment there, but no. They're okay. These guys are... Build. You're okay at the moment. So it's, it's just the people going back and forth over here that are get, getting sick. Which is not good. Oh man, the people, the people, oh they went even though it's very cold, the idiots. Okay. Why did you idiots do that? There goes that one. Immediate tear down. But... This is now operating. Even though I accidentally got a whole bunch of people sick. Whoops. Look at that though, 18 hours. We need that coal ASAP. But the coal thumper is great for this. So I'm going to fully man these guys. They are insulated of course, so they don't really care much at all. The thumper though is only a chilly. But we need the extra drain from that uh, steam hub to operate it. Actually no, no we don't. <laughs> okay, we can do this. These got more expensive. He's got more expensive, and please say that's not five people sick. <sighs> it is. They are only in treatment, though. That's okay. Ish. But I will reshuffle the workers again, just to try and make sure that the thumper is operating before everything else, because that's what we need. Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys are working. The thumper is now fully up, so I don't need that right now. So I'll sh Also, I will tell this to only work when these guys are in operation as well. So that will sa save on some coal too. Very important on the steam hubs if you've got them for just industrial areas. Just like make sure they don't burn extra resources when you don't need it to. Which I was doing on that other hub, I admit. Uh, these guys, Liverpool, Chile, I think these guys will need to be running the heaters as well, but the heaters will still be cheaper than the steam hub, so that's okay. Hub is there as a backup. Improved heaters, overdrive coupling, we are going to need that, so let's grab that one right now. Okay. And, next task. We require wood source out here. These guys will be fine without heaters. The problem is workers getting to them are going to have trouble. That's part one. I want it to be slightly over, so I guess there. I kind of want it there. But at the same time, that is so far out, it's like... That's so far out, it's going to cause problems. <laughs> so what I'll do is that. I've got the road queued up, but I'll pause construction though, so we, it won't actually try to build that. It'll send a few people out to do the road and then call them back immediately. Um, we have still have a couple of hundred wood. And I think, let us actually try to do some housing. 
upgrades now, just to try and make things a bit warmer for people. Problem is this will make people homeless, and that is also a bad thing. But it could be a lot worse. Hey, raw food and wood. Export. Yes, please. Take it all, a bit of extra wood, and then you come the hell back because you do not want to stay out there. <laughs> if I leave you guys out there, you're going to die. You're going to die. In a very, very bad way. Um, I'm seriously tempted to actually fire up the thumper just to try and keep people a bit safer. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. Minimum work time, like that's 50 50 work time, but it will be working. At the very least, it'll help to keep these people here a bit healthier. And I guess I'll stop that just so that we've got people actually doing that. Oh, what's this? Drunken meltdown. Sir, a drunken man is having a meltdown in front of the cookhouse. He's screaming that people are ill, cold, homeless and scared, but instead of help, they get booze with their meals. Um, Discontent and hope will rise, or discontent and hope will fall. Hope is actually dropping quick. I'll let him be, it's true. Discontent, we do have measures in place to try and deal with. Hope, we are having a few issues with, but we're okay for now. Oh wait, you're waiting. Oh, right. Still 137 coal, that is actually really nice. So is the extra things, but yeah. You return home as well, there's no way you can get anywhere else before the storm hits. But we have used up one day so far. So that means I think if we're roughly on schedule, as things are going, we will hit the storm. I forget to take tech. No, I've got oh no, I've got overdrive couplings. Excellent. Right, we'll hit the storm right as the um yeah we'll hit the storm right about the end of the episode. So I think so. Next episode is probably going to be in the middle of the storm as we knuckle down and try and deal with everything. I'm just trying to remember where the tree spots are. There's, yeah, that, I, I knew that. I remember there's one right next to us. One there, there's coal there. I think maybe getting steam drills is a good idea. I mean, it's a base level tech, so. It's like wall drills. Sure, it's a steam core, but it's also an infinite supply of wood. So, that'd be a good idea. It's also within the heat zone when we upgrade our generators. Steel wreckage deplete. Cool! That means this place is going to give me more. Some extra coal coming through. Excellent. Because tomorrow is where the fate of this particular city is decided. <laughs> Spooky wooky, yes. But yeah, tomorrow we decide the fate of this place. And I'm going to crank that up just to help protect these guys a bit better. Because if we can't gather enough tomorrow, and then sustain through the storm, this city is going to be in huge trouble. And the sheer number of sick people is also already a big concern. Can I squeeze an extra healing potion anyway? Uh, not within my core heated zone, unfortunately. However, since people are now free, it's five in the morning, I am going to order some housing upgrades. Because we're past the point of automatic sickness, and we have a lot of people roaming around who can just help out with that. But I'm watching watch the sickness increase so rapidly. Work time. Get back to work. Steel, food, coal, wood. Thank you. And now we come to a, a little thing about this game which I kind of don't like, really. And that is the fact that when the scouts are hanging around, they are just sitting here in the thing. They don't actually wander into the city at all. So they're, they're, they're just here, you send them off again. But that means five people sitting here doing nothing. So you disband them to get the people back into your city. And then you, when you make a new scout later, it becomes scout number three. Scout number one. So you can't just reform an old scout team. You can't just 
give them leave to be around the city when they come back. So that's something I hope very much they fix when they hit, hit Fox Point 2. Because I want the the Eagle Scout Squad. Sorry, the, the, the Eagle Scout Squad Supreme, the first ever Scout Squad, the squ first Scout Squad to bring back a Steam Corps, to be this group of five people that I can just... They just come out and help in the city when they're back. And then when I deploy them, they go out again to go scouting. I, I hope that's a change they make. I really do. Uh, of course, the name was slightly... Um, slightly exaggerated there, but... Uh, the the bits do that, and also name the scout squads would also be nice. <laughs> a bit of personalization, you know. Like, these guys are the, are the expert scouts. Send them out and do the thing. Oh. Adaption. Okay. Uh, we need something for hope. Triage, no. House of Pleasure is not a good one. Hope will fall. Uh, I think an, a quick and easy one would... We could do Care House. The problem is we don't have the heating zone to really expand right now, and I don't want to focus my tech to, to get that, or spend the coal on the steam hubs, because coal is still a bit dicey. So, Cemetery is such a good, easy one to grab for a bit of extra hope. Though, honestly, a lot of people swear by Corpse Disposal. I have personally never used this. But, um... No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use, and then you can use them later for organ transplants to help heal people. But um, hope will fall and discontent will rise, while cemetery is a slight hope rise. And it does take people away from your work shifts when to bury people look for a few hours, but that's okay. It's livable. Especially if you're doing it right and you're not actually losing people. As long as you're not losing people, cemetery won't actually affect your work shift that much. Let's look in purpose, though. Morning gathering, hope will rise slightly. Morning gathering will slightly raise hope from time to time. Or guard stations, discontent will rise. Let's do the morning gatherings, actually. Because cemetery is good, this one is free, and it will continuously slightly rise hope. So that's actually okay. I think that's the better investment of my lore at this time. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. I like the sound of that one, actually. Begins the transformation of our city into a garrison. A good start with meeting with everyone each morning. So, community, yes. And Pleasant Spring. <laughs> um, slightly odd name there. Pleasant Spring sees this starting to turn into a garrison. Yep. Morning roll call. You called it. I mean, no, that's not what's happening at all. No. Not at all. Wall drills. We got the wall drills. And I think let's grab the steam coal thumper next. Actually, because there's nothing else we can do right now for our survivability. So let's go for... Actually, medical post upgrade. Faster healing time. Also, cookhouse insulation, but that um, we can get medical posts faster. So let's do that. Boost our medical posts, which are barely keeping up right now. We are almost at the storm. Also, something just pops. There it is. Long hours. No. We need this because things are a bit dicey. Forcing absences from this. Um, turn it off, it goes back down to Chile. Yeah, I'll leave that at Chile right now because we've got the steam hub working, of course. And even with it warm, you know. But unfortunately, though, that was a big bump to discontent as well. We need... Oh, I know what I've forgotten to do. This will help. Extra dueling areas help cover more housing to protect from the insidious creep of discontent. The people shall hope their blood sports, darn it. Also, I need to... No, I need to remove a road. Oops. There we go. Wait, no, I didn't sign the Blood Sports thing. Never mind. <laughs> Gotta keep track of what I've signed and what I've not. I honestly never go for Blood Sports. I mean, even when I've got everything else signed in, Blood Sports I avoid. Like the plague. Eh, actually, that's a good good way to describe it, the plague. Why do I, dis why do I avoid it? Well, it's not Blood Sports, it's actually the dueling law. I should probably be a bit more specific about that, shouldn't I? 
because it's a slightly different thing. But I avoid that simply because it means there's a chance that people will die. And because I try to keep my people going, I view that as very much a bad thing. I was trying, hoping to refresh that. Never mind. So yeah, I, I try to keep my people alive. Scout number two. Two steam cores. More coal, more wood, more, more, more food. Good. Raw uh, food rations. We've got three days in stock, so we're probably going to lose the cookhouse when the storm hits. But that is absolutely fine. I mean, that's no issue at all. Because we have three days of food, and we are looking at a... Oh, that is unfortunate. Next episode is going to be interesting. <laughs> Why do I say that? Because the storm is two days. The storm is two days. The overdrive own glass one day. We'll be lying on the overdrive to try and keep people alive. And it's not going to work. We're going to have issues. No matter what we do, we're going to have issues now. Luckily though, well, actually no, that's not that good as well. Our coal is also kind of iffy. Uh, what can I do? I want to keep the... I know what I can do. I'm going to pull in my hunters. We have three days worth. We have to live two days, and then it's like... Raises one level. Ooh. I do need the housing upgrades as well, ASAP. Looking at the weather the, the weather forecast is actually making me quite concerned right now. Pull all the hunters out. So we're going to miss a round of food. We're okay. We've got like three days of uh, food, and we've got enough food to process for a day as well. So that's all okay. Um, what do you guys do if I garrison you? More hopeful. Might be an idea to do that, but right now I'm freeing people up specifically so they can get these housing upgrades just smashed out. Like, in the fastest possible manner. Medical posts. Good. Healthcare insulation, we're probably going to need that. In fact, I'd say healthcare insulation above cookhouse insulation, but I will actually, let's go for the steam coal thumb. Uh, no, people are going to get sick. Let's make sure we get healthcare operating as best we can. Housing up. Um, let's put out another one. last moment preparations here but I need to get people healed before we hit the zero hour good people are all in cover we're through the witching hour I think where people get automatically sorted out but now it is time to say don't go out there so that place is now officially shut down that's good no one's going to be working out here because I paused it. That's good. This place is going to be firing hard. Honestly, because uh, I don't want to rely on the overdrive for this, but I'm going to have to. But right now, housing. Please. Yes, I can afford it all. Right. Get all of that housing up ASAP. And look at the numbers shifting. But here it comes. Here it comes. It's closing on us. The storm is here. We are about to face two levels drop. And we are not quite ready. But we are about as prepared as we can get. Actually, what's the thing after morning? Foreman. 
Increase efficiency of a workspace by 40% for 24 hours. Actually, yeah, let's grab that one, I guess. If we need more coal, absolutely, we can throw a foreman at it to um, get things rolling. We need those housing. The workers might need someone to tell them to do what one of the Supervised work is almost more, always more productive, I hear. So again, mixed opinions, but at least the discontent's back down. That was getting kind of high. Wrap up well. The frost is here. Okay, here we go. Uh, housing is cold. Yeah, we need the overdrive. Europe's chilly. Europe cold, so yeah, fire you guys as well. So these gathering posts are working okay. During the day, I guess it's okay, except for the fact so many people are home. I'm not quite sure how that's going to affect it. Um, research is getting locked out, though. Unless I fire up this. Which just brings up to cold. Mm, that's not a level I'm willing to work with. I guess we're going to be without research for this as well, because it, with, unless we're running overdrive, I am not willing to spend that, because people will be getting sick and I do not want it. So, shut them off. Besides which, it will burn up our reserves. 22 hours, we don't have the coal to spend. <laughs> not with two days of this. Not with two days. But that said, though, we do need to end there because we are at that point. So, guys, get those houses up. Work time. Get moving. Thank you. Right. Let's double check on this really quick. Going to work, going to work, going to work, working, staying at home. The ones I'm worried about are the ones that are staying at home. Quite honestly. Those are the guys I'm kind of worried about. But... I guess maybe I should try and build stuff. No, we'll talk about that next time. Um, until then, this has been Mark 3 Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the show and this little trip in Frostpunk Canyon's map. And I'll catch you all some other time. Oh, uh, that's down as well. Oh, my goodness. Fire up the heaters on those guys as well. Good, that's still working. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See you all later.